Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. We are outside of Walmart, about to head on inside and do our midweek moneymaker bonus. I got $3 for eight offers, but guys, let me tell you, I'm not gonna lie to you, the deals with Ibotta this week stink. So I'm not sure if I'm even gonna be able to complete that. And I also got that big lemonade bonus, $10 for 40 offers, there is no way. With the deals on I bought as of right now, I'm going to be able to complete that. There's just no way. I am not, I'm at a point now where I'm not going to spend extra money to try and get to a bonus because I get, we always get so much stuff for free or super cheap. So I'm not willing to spend the extra money just to complete a bonus. So if I bought as deals are going to be pretty crappy. To up until that bonus I'm probably not gonna complete that um, there was an amazing Suavitel deal yesterday but swag bucks reduced down the offer from 400 swag bucks to just one so I'm definitely not picking that up today because that is a horrible deal now um, but there are a few things it's gonna be a small haul this time but let's go inside and see what we can get at Walmart for super cheap. The first deal I'm picking up are these Chic Intuition Bamboos. They are priced at $5.97. I'm going to pay that out of pocket, submit my receipt to the coupons.com app for $4 back, and submit my receipt to Ibotta for $4 back, making this a $2.03 moneymaker. Next, I grabbed one of the Advil liquid gels for $3.98. I'm going to use this $1 paper coupon, pay $2.98 out of pocket, submit my receipt to Shopkick, and get $3 back. Plus, I did a survey on Brand Club for $2.75 back, making this completely free and a $2.77 moneymaker. Next, I'm going to grab this Gerber food pouch, the Plantastic. It is priced at $1.78. I'm going to pay that out of pocket, submit my receipt to Ibotta for $0.50 cents back, submit my receipt to the coupons.com app for $0.35 cents back, and get a total of $1 from Shopkick, making this completely free. Next, I am going to grab the Dawn Power Wash, priced at $3.94. It has to be the starter kit, not the refill for work for the Ibotta rebate. So I'm going to use this 50 cent off paper coupon from the June PNG. I'm gonna pay $4.44 out of pocket, submit my receipt to Ibotta for a dollar back, plus I did a survey on Brand Club for a dollar fifty back making my final cost for this Dawn Power Wash just $1.94. I found this Revlon lipstick on clearance for $5.47 at my store. We have new $2 paper coupons from this past Sunday's Save Insert. Then I'm going to submit my receipt to Ibotta for $3 back, and I did a survey on Brand Club for a dollar back on Revlon, making this completely free and a 53 cent moneymaker. Next, I'm gonna grab this Malto Meal Dino Bite cereal. It's a 17 ounce. It's priced at $3 at my store. Then I'm gonna submit my receipt to Shopkick and get $3.20 back, making this completely free and a 20 cent moneymaker. Next, I'm going to grab this Mentos Pure Fresh Gum. It is priced at $3.44. I'm going to pay that out of pocket, submit my receipt to check out 51 for $0.75 cents back, and get $0.75 cents back on Ibotta. Plus, I did a survey on Brand Club for $2.50 back, making this completely free and a $0.66 cent moneymaker. Still out the checkout line, I'm also going to grab these M&M candies for $0.98. Cents. I'm going to pay that out of pocket, submit my receipt to Shopkick for $1.40 back, making this completely free and a $0.42 cent money maker. Alright guys, here is my small Walmart haul for the midweek money maker bonus. Um, I don't think I'm going to complete that, but we still have some pretty good deals, so let's head to checkout. Alright you guys, that is my complete Walmart haul for this week. Hopefully I can do something better this weekend and get another video up for you guys. But like I said, the Ibotta rebates just aren't that great. 
but they make some great if you have like small like a three for six I bought offer these would be great filler items for that so I did pay $25.96 out of pocket for everything I had no coupon beeps I only used those three paper coupons um, I did get $8 back from Shopkick. I got $4.35 back from Coupons.com for the Gerber and the Razor. I got $7.75 back from Brand Club. And I got a total of $9.35 from Ibotta, making everything today completely free and a $3.49 moneymaker. So I did not complete the midweek bonus. I'm two offers shy. I am going to run to Target and grab some more laundry products. And I may stop at Giant just to pick up a few things to complete that midweek bonus just to get that extra $3. Um, but other than that, that was a great haul. I know it was super small compared to my last Walmart haul. But like I said, again, I know I keep repeating myself. But Ibotta is just not that great this week. And let me tell you, if you want to take a break from couponing because the deals aren't that great, that is completely fine. The whole point of couponing is to save money, not spend extra money just to complete bonuses. That defeats the whole purpose of couponing. So if you don't want to do any of the deals this week, if you didn't like anything that I picked up this week or aren't going to use it, don't go buy it. It's okay to take a break. You do not have to do couponing every week. You do the do the deals that work best for you and your family, and that is it. You do not have to overdo it with couponing, especially when the deals are not that great. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. We'll see you in the next haul.